Hello and welcome everybody. So today we are going to explore dual eyes on Magic Lantern. Uh, in the next few parts, you will see uh, the difference in noise and shadows, and uh, basically the HDMI capture uh, that I recorded uh, prior to this session. So let's dive in into the uh, into our um, main screen. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve 19 public beta. We're going to be using several basic tools, uh, but I will just run through the clips. So these are the clips which were recorded a day before um, both. So the orange is, as you can see, with a lot of noise in the shadows and artifacts caused by um, EOSM, basically EOSM, uh, Canon EOSM, uh, when being operated by Magic Lantern, uh, cannot cope with a lot of uh, noise and artifacts and shadows. And uh, that's why we are basically talking today about dual eyes on how to save the situation. And um, the blue ones are dual eyes versions of the same clips. And uh, they were um, they were processed in MLV app. Uh, so at the end of this uh, session, you will see both the HDMI capture of these clips, not these clips, these clips, and you will see the uh, MLV app uh, workflow that I use to, you know, kind of enhance the, uh, basically uh, playing with exposure, shadows, highlights, and stuff. But uh, I will narrate this part, but the rest of the parts you will see as is. And okay, so. First things first, let's, um, this is uh, DaVinci Resolve operating at 1080p, um, DaVinci Wide Gamut Intermediate, and uh, Rexel 9 Gamut 2.4, classic. And, um, okay, so first, Let's transform this into something, and I'm not going to be using a color space transform. I will go to ACES. And since this was processed into Sony as Gamma 3, we're going to just do this. Uh, there will be no color grading stuff in this session. Uh, we will just be working on, you know, comparison. Okay, so, um, and we're going to do the same for the rest of the clips. Here we go. Um, first, of course, you see that, as I said, artifacts and shadows, uh, something that you don't see uh, in dual ISO clips. But um, the way dual ISO blends these, uh, uh, skip lines and I mean, whatever the technology Magic Lanterns uses to uh, create um, a dual ISO image, uh, I mean, render the, uh, the final version. Uh, but uh, the, the way camera uh, behaves is that it takes one line in ISO, for example, 200 and another line uh, in ISO uh, 800, for example, and then it blends it, and at the end of the day, you will have something like this. Uh, there will be color shift, white balance shift, a lot of shift, especially uh, if you're shooting in lossless 11 bit, for example, and uh, then you do the um, uh, dual ISO clips. Uh, I think that they are basically shot in 14-bit uh, or even 10-bit. 
I don't know. But there is a significant color shift that you may experience. I mean, it's fixable in post and uh, it will add some more work on top of uh, your actual regular workflow. But I mean, at the end of the day, you get a much cleaner image, right? So let's try uh, fixing this one. Uh, I will be using neat um, noise reduction or oh yeah, let's let's try something interesting. Let's try the um, uh, the ultra noise reduction by the uh, by DaVinci, which was introduced in um, DaVinci Resolve 19. Let the system analyze the scene and okay. Choose this one. I genuinely disagree with this decision, so I move it here, right? Um, works 13, 19. Let's do the same here for the dual ISO clip and uh, um, bum, 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 bum. ultra NR analyze. For this one, I choose another one, but let's be, so this point, right? Uh, let's be consistent. So you see, that's the difference in noise that DaVinci uh, can identify. So 5.9 Luma Chroma is 4.6 and 13.9, 12.3. Let's reset this and uh, let's use the famous third party application. Um, auto profile, use a small area. So uh, for things like that, when uh, need uh, cannot identify if it's, uh, if it's artifacts caused by the sensor in shadows uh, or not, and it's not a noise, uh, it will choose something like this. But we're trying to to see the difference, right? So 18.5, just, just uh, let's build it like this. And, uh, well, still not, I mean, I could do something like go to primaries and put the shadows down, won't be visible much, or even go to HDR and kill the blacks. Anyway, so you see, that's the thing. But here we go. That's the, that's what we're seeing here in on the waveform or the parade you will see this noise. Same clip, dual ISO. Uh, I think this one was 200 by 800, so 200 ISO 1, 200, 800 ISO 2. Let's uh, see that the, the thing is that um, even with the Ultra NR, uh, by Da Vinci, this image looks much clearer, but we're going to use neat for this one and uh, let it auto profile. Of course, it takes the this one. Uh, here we go. Remember, that was something like nine. Here it's the noise level 1.9, right? So let's build a profile and apply now let's see the difference in between two shots uh, i want to balance it so we'll go to hdr and make it look something like like this right
Um, yeah, so this region, this region, uh, in dual ISO and much cleaner than in, uh, in um, single ISO version. So I'm not going to be processing this, but uh, at the end of the day, you will see the difference. See, this is dual ISO clip. This is regular ISO. This is regular ISO here, but most importantly, I guess this part will be interesting to you. So this is original and this is dual ISO. And at the same time, um, look at the sky, right? So if even if I go down on the on the highlights, well, see, that's the thing. Trees. Pretty much the same, but this is the magic of dual ISO on uh, uh, on Magic Lantern, specific to Canon USM, because there are a lot of stuff that um, sometimes will make uh, the final shot uh, unusable, like flickering. That is very hard to fix in post because it's not a um, uh fluorescent um flicker and uh oh anyway so these uh these clips are salvageable with heavy nr uh well let me show you i will just go one uh, better small let's do 22 that uh, enhanced, uh, no, okay, let's do an R. Okay, let's do enhanced. Uh, 10, 75. Salvageable, yes, but here's the dual ISO clip. Much cleaner, right? much much cleaner and less work for um less work for for da vinci this is uh that's why dual is always it's a pretty handy tool these clips uh as you can see these clips are from uh the HDMI recording um, that you will see me capturing through an HDMI out, but let's create something. Um, let's see the difference. So these are obviously two I mean, identical, almost identical clips, but at the same time, um, in one situation, I have to choose if I want to see the interior of the coffee shop or I want to capture the street and try to capture something on the inside. Okay, let's do this one. So this is dual ISO. And... Uh, Let's, um, I don't know, let's kill, the, let's up the shadows, um, decrease the highlights. Of course, they're clipped, and uh, of course, the, the image will not be on the level that you want to choose, but it's completely different from this one, right? Here and here. There's another one. We have this is non-dual ISO version. This is dual ISO version. Look at this the 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 outside part. It's pretty much identical, but difference. I think this one was heavy, was 100 to 1600. 
and uh, still. And this is log. This is this is Sony log. Um, uh, I could go with uh, Cinema DMGs and have uh, would have had more flexibility in terms of you know. Uh, Recovering shadow, I mean highlights and, and shadows, but this is almost uh, the impossible shot for that kind of situation when it's like super bright outside, super dark inside. Now let's see what our NR uh, system give us. can give us okay let's build this one oh it is what it is right but that's a it's a there's a very big difference between what you what you're getting uh without dual iso and what you get in with dual iso similar clips i think here you he, in this one you will see the the uh, uh the, the flickering you see here this one the flickering is uh basically because i guess um the automatic um white balance kicks in well that was my mistake but uh i didn't do it on purpose but this is how i basically can figure out identify if uh the shot was with uh automatic white balancing And yeah, so um, this is how it's done. So thank you for um, watching this. Take care and bye-bye.